Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season two, episode four of She-Ra, Roll With It. Last episode, uh, we saw that Entrapta started helping Hordak with his mm -hmm. portal technology and we learned yes. about Hordak being like an alien. Well, we learned that there are other planets, other galaxies, which is incredible. And that you can portal to them, which yeah. leads me to believe. With first one's tech, with we first can't ones, forget that that's part. That's true, with first one's, which leads me to believe we're eventually going to go off world. Really? You think? so that they don't okay. open that door without ever letting us explore it that's true i guess i figured it might have been just like a send hordak back to where he came from but mm. you know if we're really go the, any there's direction. one way of doing that i feel like it would be like a hordak planet but when he's like uh you are the only planet that this is backwards like i feel like yeah. it, you have to gotta be other options but anyway we're excited to see what happens moving forward if you are excited for this episode and the series moving forward make sure to like comment and subscribe down below and check out the patreon linked in the description below to see episodes early and ask us questions that we will answer Answer after every episode. All right, I think that's about it. Are we excited for episode four of season two of Shira? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Dunderheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Okay, a horde base. And they're sneaking in. Mm. <sighs> okay, need to find your way to reclaim the horde occupied fortress for the rebellion. I'll teleport ahead to scout a path through their defenses. And I'll quietly shoot the closest turrets with my trick arrows. Go. All right. Well, getting to see some battle. We have a plan on. now. Yeah. The ability to teleport is so cool and so useful. Absolutely. In a way that I feel like people don't talk about enough. Oh my God. That's uh, quite the um, trick arrow. Wait, no, this can't. This isn't real. Dead. Wait. No, this isn't real. It's a board game. Bullshit. Oh my God. <laughs> it's not a board game. They're strat. Wait, are they playing? Are they playing D and D? That clearly isn't going to work. Let's try this again. Look at the way that that thing. I've never played D and D. Do you remember Stranger Things? Yes, but Where not well the, enough to like the remember the mask. board games they play. <laughs> That's like the main the whole thing is D and D. What? <laughs> like okay, that, I never played D and D. Like the Demogorgon is a D and D character. Okay, <laughs> I didn't know that. They, I thought the it was entire show. Just they're like, monster. let's play some D and D. Anyway, I thought it was just a board game to in between their adventures. Ugh. It is. For real? It, no, it is, but like it's a foundational part of the show. Okay. But anyway. I didn't know. <laughs> but all I'm saying is that trifold thing and the way it's presented kind of seems like a DD &D role playing game. Uh huh. Okay. What? You don't think so? <laughs> like, I have no idea. Like, I'm just making fun of you. Uh huh. I really want to play DD. Never have. I shouldn't be dead. That's because you failed to make a successful observation check. If we're going to retake the pass, we have to be prepared oh, for Oh, they're anything. strategizing. But it's crucial that we get it back. Why does that mean I have to die? And after I made these for you. <laughs> Look, our plans always fall apart. Always. It'd be impressive if it wasn't terrifying. We have gotten really good at improvising, though. I mean, that's a skill off, that you need. But that is true. A plan that won't Shouldn't fall be the apart, default. And yeah. a plan that takes into account everything the Horde could possibly throw at us. We're breaking Tiny Bo's heart. I mean, look at his face. He's smiling. Through his pain, Glimmer. Through <laughs> his pain. I Guys, love Bo. This pass is important. The Horde is not going to give it up without a fight. It's obviously going to be guarded by their very best and brightest. Move those big weapony things! Yeah. Scorpio. I love her so much. Honestly. We all need a Scorpio in our lives. Yeah. Catra left me in charge. Can you believe it? Uh, no. I really can't. Ah, me neither. She must really trust me. I can't let her down. Kyle! The way she loves I like, Catra. I like kind of want things to go well for the horde specifically so that Scorpia can like tell Catra that she like did what she needed to do. Literally. Scorpia, you're in charge of the fortress, she said. Then you can't mess this up, she said. Oh, Even me. Not the dreamy eyes. Happy. Should I get her a thank you gift? What's her favorite color? Kyle, what are you doing? Uh, you said I- Go find out Catra's favorite color! <laughs> What do you think Catra's favorite color is? You Just no gut. Catra. Black. Well, what would she like? Really? I need it to be something that says, Thank or like purple. You, but mm. also, no. Red. Those are three We're different soulmates? colors. Soulmates? Is she into Catra? I feel like it's more friendly. More time checking the defenses. The reason we're here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my god. Okay. Remind me. My wildcat is counting on me. Wildcat. My wildcat and breaks the concrete. Okay. All right. Is she actually in love with Catra? Oh, that's Clearly the pass that, that they're trying to get. No, if they make me choose <laughs> between Adora and Glimmer and Bow and Scorpia. We're not going to win by sneaking. You choose Adora and Glimmer and Bow. <laughs> yes, but I won't be happy about it. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Um. I'm sorry. When? I'm okay. 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 What the? This is so cool. Oh my god. I love this. Comment below what style that's imitating. Do you know? No, I feel like there is though. Oh, okay. I thought you were like quizzing. Seems like Cowboy Bebop. Maybe that's not right. <laughs> Maybe JoJo? No. Teleports ago. Then I land on you. <laughs> tiny bow! <laughs> Not again, Tiny Every Bow. Time. We need to come up with a plan based on reality. And in that moment, I really would land on Bow. Using a limited number of teleports isn't a bad idea. So Glimmer will take Bow. We need to use teleports yeah. so much more Teleport than they're being used right now. Bow shall act as backup while you and I breach the less patrolled area up on the wall. Because then they wouldn't even know that you had gotten in. Well, oh. Uh, why are you playing with dolls? Where is the? Yeah. She's back. War table battle figures? And I don't know if I have one for you. Aren't you supposed to be on watch? If he gives her like a Monopoly one. Oh, hilarious. look. The fortress is still there. Like it was an hour ago. Oh, the fortress is literally right across. It's like. They're like they're prepping right there? outside. Oh, yeah. Oh, Like okay. their camp. Wait, why aren't they including her as a figurine then? Is she not going to help? I don't know. Confusing. Is it like a secret operation? Relax. I switched with Perfuma. We're still coming up with a plan. Am I on the plan? Don't have you. I do have a seashell and a happy otter. Uh, googly eyes. Pass. What? Can we the otter get doesn't have googly eyes. You can't be Shira. <laughs> I'm a Shira. Not anymore. You snooze. You lose. Wow. Uh, wow. That's rude. rude. Yeah. <laughs> Alert force captain Scorpia. We got a princess problem. I got a little carried away. But the rest of my plan could work. Except Wait, so did was that what just alerted her cat. on the, on the um, thing, the tablet? That might have been it. Mate, oh, uh, I didn't think about that. I didn't either, and then I was like, was that what it is? Already thought of that. I knew destroying the box. Yes. Very out. cool. <laughs> wait, wait, I didn't realize that she's the only one in that style. Yeah, everyone else looks the same. Look at the other two. <laughs> they're just they're just pink. Normal, and she's and like, she's like glam. Catra. Are you this is how you see Catra? <laughs> they can't. Yeah. You fell into my trap. <laughs> I've armed the Not the cat. Mom, capable of taking out my greatest enemy. You. Do you expect us to just sit here? No, princess. This I is so funny. Me. I cast giant fly trap on Catra. No. No. Sorry, Bo. What are you doing here? Can she this summon big fly traps? Beautiful we perfuma. We are in the middle of a very serious planning session. We have lots of ideas for plans. Aren't you on watch right now? Nobody's on watch. Who's watching? Okay, but only if you guys are serious about I'm the... sitting next to Glimmer. I have an amazing idea. I love again. them. Spybot, the mission is simple. I need you to spy on the princesses so I can stop them and impress Catra so much <laughs> she'll finally admit we're best friends. Release. Oh. We have a bond that can never be broken. You got that? <sighs> It's not turned on, and um, that's not how it works. <laughs> Good. I was just testing you on whether you knew how to do that, and I love her. You passed. So Getting a big kudos. Scorpio episode. Mm -hmm. Let's go spy. <clears throat> okay, it's kind of cute. Okay, it is very cute. It's like a mini Emily. A mini. The cutest yeah. little fella. I don't know how to combine those. Look Min at you with your little Mimily. legs and your antenna. She has literal claws. Like. Mm -hmm. no. uh, second test. Do you want me to drive this by bot? Yes, please. Everyone has a figure except Perfuma, who's using her plant, and Mermista, who has that for some reason. Well, how? Says the guy with a bag of dolls. Okay, so. So far, I have been shot, eaten, <laughs> and squashed. We're doing my plan. Many bows kind of getting destroyed no death, at this point. No dying. Yeah, not going super well for him. Time. 
I am Bo, Shira's <laughs> best friend and defender of Etheria. With the mustache. Strikes, <laughs> I strike back. I'm loving the outfit. Right. I cannot confirm this. I bet you this is this was their original outfits. Really? Oh, like in the I in the like original it's he gotta man be a reference. version. Yeah. Well, or no, not there he was He-Man version, but the old She-Ra back She when yeah. it was like in conjunction. I with feel He-Man. like that's gotta be it. But yeah, I see that. Like it's too specific. After I destroy the turrets with my trick arrows, Glimmer teleports us to the cow. Someone waits in the shadows. Catra. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> I won't let you destroy my perfect plan. No. This is kind of amazing. It looks like I've got you meow, evildoer. I pause to reflect on your death. This if I look? <laughs> I'm feline. Blue eyeshadow is back Not in. Not feline, so pretty good. Mm. <laughs> no. Uh, what? Wait. No, but I, I ran out of figures and <laughs> only have this left, so she can now. The horde has dragons, as I did not make enough robots. <laughs> I'll shoot her with my net arrow. Oh, come on! She would obviously duck. You can't underestimate Catra or the horde. I think we can exploit a weakness in the wall. Is it my turn? This is oh, a game. what is Perfuma's version? I use my magic to grow a plant golem to take down the tower. Plant golem? Very cool. Oh, hell yeah. If it's made out of plants, how does it roar? It's plant magic. <laughs> Do you need that to be an audio? It's plant magic. Yes. Uh, well, yeah, well, uh, just the videos I could make with that audio. A real quick check in. What was your favorite out of the three we've seen? Uh, the plan? Out of the two styles we've seen, glimmers and bows, what was your favorite? I like glimmers. Really? I like bows. I, but I wish everyone had been drawn. It, so in Glimmer's version, I like everybody except for Bo and She-Ra was. Yes, but I wanted Bo and She-Ra to be drawn in the same style that Glimmer was in her version because that was my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm excited to see. Hopefully, they do more because this is really yeah. fun. We're not just making up whatever we want. Plus, your idea is dumb. And what would you do? Uh, I step forward and I say, <gasps> I am Mermista for the honor of Grey Whale. <laughs> no. Not gray whales. Not, the, not like her sparkle, version of She-Ra. And the dolphin, magic dolphin. Sparkle. Powerful. Instead of swift I ones. shoes <laughs> that are slightly better than my normal shoes. You can't transform into She-Ra. Duh, I'm Sira, princess of the oceans, obviously. Sira? Now, if she gets to be Sira, I get to have a plant golem. The winter's bane needs no help from a plant. The what? What is hers? The Winter's Bane. Quite the entrance into her version of it. My enemies know me as Frostbite Winter's Bane. My friends call me Bane. But no one comes close <laughs> to Ooh. the Oh, whoa. She's got an obsidian broadsword that enhances strength plus three. And her finishing move is... The That's a D&D reference. Strike. Okay. What's that pink blob next to her? Her sidekick, Glimmer. What? We're getting so far from the real plan. Not making <laughs> Glimmer the focus. sidekick. That's yeah, funny. Focus on how I'm not a sidekick. Oh, no. The spies just could be like, what the hell are they doing? We've got visual. Turning on the audio. My army of plant golems will take down the tower. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, they're going to hear all of the goofy plans and prep for all the wrong stuff. <laughs> or maybe they'll just hear that they can't decide on a plan. <laughs> They're gonna give us frostbite, then attack us with a plant column, and a woman named Sira, and Bo's got a trident of power? Who knows what that does? Oh, what do? <laughs> Nightmare situation. Not the dark room. We cannot risk it. Scorpio's my favorite character, confirmed. I love Scorpio. Will someone notice the little robot? Or maybe I'll just kill it. Ah. Did it gain senti- Oh, I thought I was just gonna gain- that's so Why dramatic. Why does that make me sad? Why was that so dramatic? Mm -hmm. Was that my job? Kyle. Really, Kyle? I don't Kyle. know you haven't been fired. <laughs> I teleport in. Yes. I out of my plant golem tears down the wall. The horde will set it on fire. Frostbite smashes the wall. Ice armor cracks as soon as you hit stone. Sea Ra destroys the horde bot. 
There is no Syrah, and you guys aren't taking Catra into account. <laughs> oh, sure we are. She's not even there. I have a lot of negative things to say, and I hate <laughs> flowers. No, no, Stop. No, like, I love parties. Oh, oh, the prom outfit. Oh, my God. Prom outfit. <laughs> that might have to be the right. thumbnail. Just she run all the different cats. Yeah. Been here for hours. It's time we attack. The horde will counter whatever we throw at them. We're gonna go again, and we're not gonna leave until we have a perfect plan. Adora, isn't this all going a little overboard? I mean, we faced the horde before. What's the worst that could happen? You well, the worst that can happen. We lose in Trapta. I'm the. We could just hitter, catastrophize so real quickly. Right away. Trap me, take my sword, do something so I'm helpless when she turns on you. She knows everything about me. They'll overwhelm Frost and Hermista with bots. They'll fire on Perfuma and Not use the her plant. to drop Bo out we into the open. Do that. Down There's the soil to be taken Sarah into account. To save him, but she won't have enough magic left to get out. Trapping them both. This Catra sounds like a mess. All of it before she finishes me off, and then everyone is gone, and the Horde wins the war, and Etheria crumbles, and it's all my fault! Wow. The horde nearly destroyed Etheria. We were barely able to stop it. If this plan isn't perfect, if I'm not perfect, everyone will. Adora, Yikes. I was captured by Shadow Weaver and lost my powers. But you know what? We escaped. I fought without my powers and we won. Bad things are going to happen. That's life. And let it paralyze you or you can roll with it. Figure out the things you can. Ah, that's the name of the episode. And trust that your friends have your back for the rest. Got this, Adora. I cast friendship and support on my next turn. Yeah, Here. that's literally. This is my trident of power. <laughs> this is D and D. That's so have cute. It, especially since Bo is making me a new one. I didn't agree to that. You will. The Winter's Bay stands with you. Also, Frosta stands with you. I can't tell if we're still in character or not. <laughs> well, well. Thank you. So, what do we do now? We improvise. For the honor of Grace. Let's go, baby. Here we go. Can you imagine just being able to have your hair do that by itself? Just I would love that, but Let's go. it's not She-Ra uh, The other thing they're not taking into account in this is the fact that when they all fight together, they kind of get this rainbow glow Extra of amazingness. Extra power, yes. Yeah, and it's only Scorpia, so I don't know. I, we'll see how this fight goes. I feel like mm -hmm. they might just take it pretty easily, right? Uh, it hasn't been the way it's gone. That seems like a little bit. N nothing wrong with positive thinking, but... <laughs> How do you feel about the way Adora is just so obsessed with the plan being perfect? Is this a sort of like a smaller fast? How do I bigger? feel about that? <laughs> this is how my brain works. Yeah, that seems perfectly logical and sound to me. I would do the exact but same thing in that Glimmer situation. Replied? Glimmer was like, you try your you best. Have you have to trust and try your best. Yeah. Joanna's been saying the same thing for <laughs> years. Thank you. Joanna's my therapist. She's lovely. Yeah. I mean, she needs to not do that. <laughs> so we'll see if it works, though. Yeah. But I mean, it, it makes perfect sense. If you've been raised to be the one who is in charge of ensuring that everyone else is in line and everyone else's failures are blamed on you, it just breeds perfectionism. Absolutely. Which is terrible. Mm -hmm. Perfectionism is the, the enemy of everything. Absolutely. Joy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joy. I lost something once. We've added more bots to all the tower's weak points. Kyle is... Yeah, like, see all of these bots? That's, like, updated tech. Mm -hmm. And if there are plant monsters or warriors in ice armor or Sira... They gotta be terrified, Sira. No, we got this. Okay, good. Thanks, Lonnie. Who's Rogelio? Rogelio? That was cute. Guy. That was cute. Rogelio. All right, Lonnie. The lizard's name's Rogelio. Very cute. Not the... Um, that was... I'm sorry. Was that an Attack on Titan reference? Which show are we watching? Tell me the hand didn't grip just like that on the top of the wall. For years, we lived safe inside the walls. Then, everything changed. Uh... The walls pet humanity cow. Like, tell me it's not the exact same. Colossal Titan plant version. No, you're right. It's the same shot. I just want to see if it's actually a reference and if it literally looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I looked Google up hand. hand on wall and it <laughs> just a bunch of hands on the wall. Oh. <laughs> 
What is that stock image possibly for? I'm crying. <laughs> that was really uh, that funny. That was really Hand funny. on wall. So is there a plant golem? That's, oh. um, Very cool. Well, that's terrifying. Oh, it can roar. Frosta? Don't tell me they Yay. all actually did the things. Wow. Look at the outfit. Absolutely fantastic. Giving me top vibes. Mm -hmm. It's gonna jump. Oh, I thought it was just gonna leap just over. Absolutely sent it. New gloves. Oh, yeah. I love all of them so much. This Ooh. is so cool. Yes, the artsy photo. Go, Bo. Artsy action shot. All right, everyone, let's go. They're like, it's like <laughs> they're literally these like, were just ideas. Out. Not just ideas. Oh, I feel bad now, for Scorpia. Huh? Me too. She was scared. Catra's not here, but I'm happy to take you down for. I've never thought that about Scorpia. That scary. I, that was scary, but I've also never thought of a Scorpia Adora. Like, she, if she's like, she trusted you, then you betrayed her. I'm her friend now, and I would never do that. And they were both friends. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I could see her, like, getting in her head that way. Yeah. They, they haven't ever fought, have the they? The ex-best friend versus the current best friend is yep. quite the dynamic. Interesting. Oh my gosh. Fantastic. Kyle. That's how teleportation should be used. Kyle. <laughs> yeah. No. Rogelio. Alright. <laughs> oh. Okay. She's dead? <laughs> Interesting that she doesn't she need like heart? any kind of Why weapon. <laughs> Scorpion's gonna have a moment here. Oh! oh, 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 no, not the. Are you serious? Oh, this is bad. Oh, okay. I forgot well, now we have the team. Oh my gosh. The tail? Scorpia! She took the staff. You stay where you are, or we'll find out if Sparkles here has enough magic to land on her feet. Like I was saying, Catra, trust me. <laughs> okay, well, at least she's Are safe. Okay? How's that for improvising? It's your turn now because I'm completely out of magic. Oh, Yikes. No. Okay, we, yeah, we need someone else. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Seriously, how many of you are there? Enough. The Rainbow Squad. Yay. Oh, too many. Oh, no. Okay, she's also well, there's a princess, water. which is kind of sad. That is sad. That's got to feel, she's got to feel really excluded. Why did they paint it like that? Now, Scorpia, I feel bad for her. She has to go tell Catra she lost it. All in favor of blaming this on Kyle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's unanimous. Oh, poor Kyle. Gosh, Kyle. Really having a rough go of it. That's rough. Oh, my goodness. Well, that right. was a great episode of She-Ra. Yeah, so they are inside the castle now, it seems. Yes, well, I think they fully took it over. That felt like a filler episode a little bit. It did feel like a filler episode. But it was still really awesome. It was great to see that plant golem and, mm -hmm. like, Frosta's usage of, like, her ice suit and, like, really... Wow. It's very fun. It was very fun. If you enjoyed that episode, make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below, and check out the Patreon if you want to see episodes ahead. We have a lot to discuss from that episode, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's go to the episode verdict. Thank you for watching that episode. If you want to ask us the questions right about to enter, join the Patreon at any level. For now, let's get to question one. CC asks, what do you think of Adora's spiral towards the end of the gameplay? <laughs> Specifically, your focus on herself being perfect and that if she's not, everything goes wrong and will be her fault. Love how Glimmer supports Dora and negates that narrative. All right, well, this is such a great question. And I kind of started talking about it during the episode just because I so relate to this idea. Yeah. Just like the anxiety around perfectionism to the degree that it's just so toxic and it impedes you from doing anything. Like yeah. the immobility that happens when everything has to be perfect so you can't do anything and you're so terrified to make a move. That makes a lot of sense given her 
her upbringing and the fact that she was given such massive responsibility at such a young age, yeah. specifically around things that she couldn't control. Like being told that it's your job to control something that is out of your control and then being told that it's a character flaw of yours yeah. if something outside of your control doesn't go the way you want it to or it should just creates immense self-doubt and it's paralyzing, which is, I think, what we saw in that moment. And I think the way that that scene played out and the way that her friends were able to encourage her to just try something, anything is better than nothing. Yeah. And realizing that just because something isn't perfect doesn't mean it's not worth doing. Mm. Um, I think that's a really important thing to know just in general. It's something I'm working on. Mm -hmm. But I'm hoping the fact that they were able to just work it all out together together and things didn't go according to plan but that was okay and it all fell into place and they achieved their goal together hopefully that will be something that she can kind of reference in the future if she finds herself in the same position absolutely i have literally nothing to add that was just <laughs> flawless dang shall we go to question two yes ah do you want to do this one yeah all right spitznar asks what did you think of everyone's stylized narrations what do you think they reflect about the way they each viewed the world and which one was your favorite i love the stylized thing we talked about during the episode it was just so we have glimmers mm -hmm. bows yes and then there weren't that many other stylistic choice well frost does was a bit like intense and cool mm -hmm. and but mermista and i want to i always want to say Plantera um, and Perfuma, <laughs> they were kind of normal. They were all just like based on their powers, but the yeah. only ones that actually had like a different style stylization. Mm -hmm. or glim they, glimmer and bow. Yeah, exactly. So I personally like bows because I seen another question that bows was using similar designs as the original series because you can kind of tell it looked 80s and it looked, yeah. and it, I, I don't know, it was just kind of fun to see that. And now that I know my hunch was kind of right, it was uh, fun to see how different this show would be if they had that like i'm so glad they changed the designs because yeah. those designs are cute but like they can't hold a candle the way they look right now in the show but i really loved getting to see that blast from the past glimmers was my favorite style i liked bows um it was definitely like a like a vintage superhero feel which like i feel like would be like wonder woman it would be nostalgic if i had experienced it as a mm -hmm. child but like i still know what that kind of looks like so that's cool but it doesn't really do it for me because i haven't experienced that at all. Yeah. I like Glimmers a lot. I thought it was very cool. I thought the way Catra was portrayed was really funny. Yeah. But I do think it shows that Glimmer views herself as the main character, which Absolutely. is kind of funny. Or not funny. I think everyone views themselves as but the main Glimmer, character. Like, but Glimmer, like, that cool. was pretty apparent. It's cool. And I mean, it, Bo didn't. But it's it's just kind of interesting to think about what everyone would look like as the main character in their own show. Yeah. So shall we go to our final question? Yes. HTR asks, are either of you familiar with Dungeons and Dragons or other role-playing games? No, not at all. Never played. So I haven't played any, but I do play Magic the Gathering. I played Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid <laughs> and I have wanted to play Dungeons and Dragons. And I saw immediately when they had that like tri-fold thing in front of Adora, it looked like Dungeons and Dragons. So like it was really cool to see like and also the stats for the characters are really cool to see that listed. But yeah, I really want to get into it. But it was cool to see that they were kind of doing it as a means to actually plan. Mm -hmm. uh, and it ended up falling apart. But yeah, it was really cool to see the way they portrayed it in the universe like paid homage to that kind of thing it kind of fell apart but it also kind of it kind of was the way it. that they yeah, planned it true like it didn't end up working out that way but the theory behind like the plant monster and the ice monster and Sira, like all of those actually did happen. they actually did happen you're right i also love that in the beginning we got to see them like try things and they would fail always yeah. killing mm -hmm. Bo, which is funny but like i i haven't played D, &D but i'm pretty sure there are times like that where like nope you fall off the cliff if you do that like something like that mm -hmm. i thought it was really cool jhtr also asks how about the 80 show Shira, princess of power or he-man and the Masters of the Universe. I've yeah, not no, seen any of them. I have not seen any of that either. I don't know a thing about them. I know, uh, oh wait, actually I have to tell the story. <laughs> um, when I was a kid, I'm a big backpacker and this one time we were going on a camp out and we were in the van driving to the camp out and the counselor was like, hey, my buddy, my friend uh, just made me a new CD for us to listen to. Uh, let's see what it is. And the He-Man remix of that, um, what is it? What's going on? That song, I'll play it. This is it. Yeah, it's like this really crazy. You've heard it. What's going on? I have no idea what that is. 
Okay, that's it's bad. The, anyway, <laughs> um, the CD consisted of that song 25 times in a row, and we listened to it the whole thing fully through without stopping. And the first time we were like, ah, this is weird. And then it was weird. And then after you listen to it more, you just learn it. And then we all were doing parts and eventually that was all. So that's the extent I know about He-Man is that one video that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I also know that Skeletor goes, Meh! but that's the, that's it. That's literally it. I think we should end it there. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I think that's about it uh, for episode four of She-Ra season two. Um, if you enjoyed that episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you're excited for our next episode coming next Tuesday, Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to see that episode early and beyond, check out the Patreon linked in the description below. All right, so that's about it. Are we excited for episode five of Shira Season 2? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go.